Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Hannah Dennis and unfortunately severe storms are possible going into tonight. We had a long break of not seeing severe weather, but it is now back in the forecast. However, we could have highs in the 60s this weekend. Unfortunately, we could also see some widespread rain over the weekend, so it could be chilly and rainy, but things are going to average out as we are going through next week. Now taking a look at the drought conditions last week, you can see majority of the state were seeing those dry conditions. But then this week things changed. All of the state is seeing the dry conditions and even some places are seeing those moderate drought uh, conditions now because of the lack of rain we have had across the entire state. But we received some rain today and we're going to receive some more rain. Unfortunately, they could be strong to severe storms that we see across the state. So going through future casts, you can see that a line of storms start to pop up around 8 p.m. and it's going to start moving their uh, moving their way across the state. State, but there is the potential that things could turn strong to severe with these storms. It's not going to be very widespread. It'll be isolated events, but it is still possible. Now, as we go on throughout the night, you can see they start to cluster together around 10 p.m. as as they are moving towards the eastern part of the state, and then they'll slowly make their exit as we get into those early morning hours of Friday. And then as we go into Friday morning, things dry out. It's going to be a dry, but it's going to be a hot day tomorrow. Things are going to be cooling off once we see some that CSA cold front move through. Now we are under that level two risk across majority of the state here. You can see that a lot of us have that potential to see those strong to severe storms. So if any of these storms do turn strong to severe, unfortunately we can't rule out tornadoes. However, it is a low threat. Large hail and damaging winds are probably the biggest threat with any of these storms that turn strong to severe. We're talking up to maybe two inch hail and 60 mile an hour winds and flash flooding is at a very low. So if any of these storms turn strong too severe, we could be looking at some damaging hail and winds with them. But as we go into this weekend, things change a little bit. In fact, they're going to be changing with the temperatures. Right now we're tied for the second place for a number of consecutive days above 70 degrees, which is 133 right now. And this uh, this weekend we could be seeing the 60s, which means we'll stop adding number uh, numbers to this because we won't see those days continue on. So we might not break this record, which is good. We've already broken way too many weather records just this year, so we might be staying in that number two spot as we go on throughout next week. Now tonight we'll get down to 65 degrees isolated thunderstorms. They could be severe as we are moving through the night. We're going to be keeping an eye on those for you guys and then tomorrow 89 degrees mainly dry, but those clouds are going to be coming back in the evening hours as we move into Saturday. Now going through the next seven days. You can see Saturday slightly cooler because we are slowly going to see those clouds increase. We're going to have more cloud cover that day and then our chances for storms really ramp up going into that evening as a cold front arrives and then you can see that cold front takes effect going into Sunday. 67 degrees for that high, so we could be having a chilly but rainy day on Sunday and then things slowly warm up as we go throughout the week, but it's going to be in the 70s. It's going to be around the average temperature for this time of year, and we keep those 70s going into next weekend. So next weekend is looking like a good one. This one is a little bit rainy, stormy, even a little bit chilly, but we are getting back to that average temperature that we are needing to be seeing for this time of year so we can finally feel like fall.